Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Saturday. It is the 25th of February, 2023. Going to look at the stakes races on the program from Aqueduct, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingCat5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Let's look at the stakes action races 3 and 8 from Aqueduct third race it is the gander stakes it's going for a hundred thousand dollar purse race for three-year-olds here state breads field five horses going the one turn 1600 meters or the one turn mile here on the main track my top selection i'm gonna go take the five horse neutral network as a top selection let's go five three four one in the super facta five three four one super top selection of five horse neutral network this three-year-old colt by cloud computing chad brown trains manny franco gets the mount blinkers on today the horse's most recent appearance came 7th of january here at aqueduct on a good but harrowed main track one mile in the jerome and he finished fourth by nine and a quarter lengths that day he didn't have a lot of early speed that day you know he, he was a little bit wide he, he needed something more more, but you know he, he was also a little lackadaisical stepping down in class hopefully being a little bit more into it today i think he could really run a good race and i think he could win two back he ran on the um the uh, 13th of november at aqueduct in the mud seven frongs and main special weight seventy thousand, winning by a length or excuse me five lengths that day he stalked that day he got to the lead a little bit wide but he took off clear earning a 74 buyer i thought that was a good race on debut it's coming here off the bench, you know, training incredibly well, Beaumont, uh, on the train track. Half mile drill, 48 into the uh, third best, the 37th best workout, 119, and a workout before that, half mile, 48 and fourth, 16th best workout out of 88. I think he's rearing to go. I'm going to use him on the ticket. Um, you know, this is the beginning of the um, mid card pick four. I'm going to single him to start this off. So to recap my selection for the third from Aqueduct, it is Degander. Let's take the five horse neutral network. Let's go five, three, four, one in the Superfecta, single the five, and then your multi race let's get to the featured eighth race now from aqueduct which is kind of the you know it's it's, it's a good race uh, and it actually produced a brewers cup classic winner um five years ago four years ago when when was it at uh, when did vino rosso win it i think uh, 2019 and i, th I think uh, he also won it um in the stymie that year but the eighth race from aqueduct it is the stymie stakes it's going for a hundred twenty five thousand dollar purse race for four olds and upwards field of six horses going 1600 meters or the one mile trip on the aqueduct main track i love the six horse miles d i'm gonna go six one three five in the super factor six one three five super top selection six horse miles d five-year-old horse by curlin chad brown trains manny franco gets the out. Horses most recent outing. First off, the 11th month refreshing came the 28th of January at Goldstream. Um, one mile on the Fred Hooper handicap, and he finished seventh by 11 lengths that day, and he had no speed early on. You know, broke okay, but he just didn't show a lot. It was a little bit wide, and he just needed the race. I did bet him that day. It was stupid, and in hindsight, stupid, stupid bet. Um, you know, he, he was bet into the ground at two to one, and Doris, you know, ran a terrific race and won. This horse just wasn't getting to him. Refreshing here to Aqueduct with this horse, ran very well in the past, again to the one turn mile. I'm going to take him two back in the mine shaft at the fairgrounds mile 16th 19th of february of 2022 he finished third by three and three quarter lengths that day he was a little bit wide he needs something more but olympiad really freaked that day and was a great horse at the beginning of 2022 this horse wasn't getting to him and then the discovery at Aqueduct, mile late 27th of November of 2021, went in by a half length, sitting back early in mid-pack, a little bit wide, but he got the job done, earning a career best 103 buyer. Um, and then prior to that, in mid-October at Belmont, mile 16th and allowance race 89,000, went in by head, circling the field that day. He got the job in the nick of time, a very good race. I do think he does his better trip to a one-turn mile. He's, you know, he, he's coming back to it today. It's 6-1. to one. I'm going to use him. I think your second likeliest winner would be the one-horse Bourbonic. He won the 2021 um, Wooden Memorial here very nicely but i had closing up from nowhere um and then finally found his first victory since that would have 2021 uh a month ago earlier this month here at aqueduct going one mile option six two winning by half a length a little bit wide but he got the job done coming home with a career best 96 buyer coming here today i think he'll see a good pace to run with and it wouldn't surprise me if he gets a good trip and win we'll use him at uh, seven to two in the multis but to recap my selection for the eighth from aqueduct it is the stymie let's take the six horse miles d give kudos to the one horse bourbonic six one three five super six one year multi-race so good luck to all and please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everybody